So the technology is right in front of us. That's our solar reactor, the key component in this project. Concentrated radiation simulated by our high flux solar simulator enters the reactor through this water-cooled reactor front, heats up the cavity to around 1500 degrees Celsius, thereby the ceria which is placed inside the cavity is thermally reduced. In a second step, which takes place at around 900 degrees, we provide CO2 and water and syngas, a mixture of hydrogen and carbon monoxide is produced, which exit the reactor through this outlet here. The syngas produced by the solar reactor is first analyzed for its composition and then flows to the compressor station where it is first stored and then finally compressed to 150 bars in such a gas cylinder. We shipped one of those gas cylinders to our industrial partner Shell in Amsterdam where it underwent the final conversion process to liquid kerosene. We in fact believe this project can revolutionize aviation and the reason is uh, we have, in, with this project, we have achieved for the first time uh, the experimental demonstration of the full production chain to renewable kerosene starting from three ingredients, water, CO2 and solar energy.